Hello, my name is Rachel and I love clothes. And, and guys, I, I can't believe it. Scarlet Darkness sent me more PR. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. <laughs> they sent me four pieces this time and they chose for me. <laughs> so I'm really excited to see what they sent me and try these on for you. So I did receive, like I said, all of these. I did receive all of these free. I don't have any contract with them. I'm under no obligation to film this video, but obviously you know I'm going to because clothes and I'm gonna share them with you. <laughs> but I think I am this time, I am going to add the paid promotion thing to the video just because the laws confuse me and I don't understand if I'm supposed to be saying that just when I get free items. Cause like all the other PR videos you see, they don't add that, but but then I read that if you get anything of value, you need to add that. And free clothes is valuable, right? So I don't understand why when people get free stuff, they don't add that. Anyway, enough of my rambling about my confusion about the laws. I'm just going to add it to be safe, but I'm not actually getting paid or anything. They just sent me clothes. I'm not even under an obligation to make this video for you. There's no contracts or anything weird like that. I'm just excited to get more free clothes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so I'm... I, I'm I guess they found value in the video that I made for them previously, and hopefully they'll find value in this video as well. So let me start showing you what I did receive. And I uh, did get them all in an extra large. They know my size now. <laughs> and this first shirt is this black blouse. And... Yeah, just, just a black blouse and a, a satiny fabric with little, I think these are called fresh French cuffs. And I feel like this was supposed to have like a little capelet with it. I'm going to have to look that up. But yeah, this is made from that same type of sand wash silk feeling satiny fabric that a lot of their clothes are made from. And let me put that down and go to the next one. Okay, so I'm wrong. This is the one that has the uh, <laughs> the little capelet with it. It's a white blouse. So this is a white blouse with sheer sleeves. And it has, like I said, a little neck cape with it. I thought the black blouse was going to have that, but apparently I got that confused. But here we go. And it's got the little, like I said, the capelet. And it actually laces up in the back. Ooh, and our third item... This has actually been in my wish list for like ever. I, I couldn't decide between the red and the black. And they sent me the red one. And it's this beautiful little lace top dress, the little keyhole, with some lace detailing, and probably go just below my knee. And this is in a nice, sort of that like stretchy, not as shiny and satiny type of fabric. And the final thing, Oh, I'm really excited for this. It's another velvet jacket. <laughs> so this is a velvet jacket with a really pretty, this is similar to that one that I, I actually bought from them in my last uh, Goth on a Budget Amazon Scarlet Darkness haul, because it's got the same brocade, but this has like a multiple layered collar to it. And then a built-in little vest with silver buttons. And then the sleeves have these little lace drops on them. And the black is just plain. There's no lacing up in the back. Oh, that's so pretty. So I'm excited to try that on for you as well. Now, I, I did not, I'm not making this one of my Gotha on a budget videos because for those, all the items have to be $25 or less. And I'm pretty sure all these items were more than $25, or at least most of them were. But of course, I will be putting links for all of them down in the description box below. But let's go try this on and see what they look like. Oh, wow, you guys, this jacket is so pretty. Oh my goodness, I love it. I shouldn't have tried it on with black velvet dress, though, because you're probably having problems telling where the uh, dress begins and the jacket ends, or the jacket begins and the dress ends. Uh, I'll try it on with something else later so we can maybe get some more detail. But I absolutely love these little lace cuffs. Now this is not a stretch velvet like the last one that I purchased. This is uh, more like those Hearts and Roses London velvet dresses that I've been getting that have no stretch to them at all. So it's that kind of almost like a 
I don't know how to explain that. More like a real velvet, <laughs> if that makes sense. Like, like a cotton velvet would be. And I love the little vest detail. I think it fl fits me rather nicely and is rather flattering. I love the little brocade multi-layered collar. But let me know down in the comments below what you think of this jacket. And let's try on another piece. And here is the red dress that has been sitting in my wish list for weeks. I'm so excited that they actually sent this to me. I love it so much. It does go down below my knees. I do need to wear a different bra with it. This bra, the, the straps are too thick and it has an odd shape to it. It's more like a 80s bullet bra. <laughs> so I would put a different bra on with it. But I love the, the little detail, these tiny little square buttons. And it is so pretty. Again, let me know down in the comments below what you think, and I really should have tried this one first. So let's put the black jacket on over top of this, because with the red, you'll actually be able to see the details of the jacket better. <laughs> There we go. So now you can see the details of the jacket better, how it has this cute little shape here with the little vest, does the little point thing. Oh, it's so cute. And I do love that little lace detail on the sleeves to give you that romantic feel. <laughs> All right, let's go to our next one. So here we have the white blouse. And this would be cute with like a black vest. I used to actually dress that way all the time with a right, white ruffled blouse and then a, a black waistcoat or vest over it. Um, so yeah, that would be really good for this. It does have that lacing in the back. The only thing I don't like about this is the buttons have these tiny little elastic loops. And when they're not stretched, they are so tiny. I actually had to use a pair of tweezers to get in there and make them large enough to go around the buttons. So I'm, I'm kind of hoping I'll be able to take this off without them buttoning more than one or two because, oh, that, that, I did not enjoy the unbuttoning of that. <laughs> or the, not the unbuttoning, the buttoning of that. Fortunately on the cuffs, it just has a regular little button and buttonhole and it does have two buttons. So, cause like right now the cuffs are kind of loose and there is a second buttonhole that I could tighten them on, but I'm not gonna do that when it's off cause I'll struggle. <laughs> But this is the one that comes with this little capelet. So let me try the capelet on with it and see how that changes the look. Oh, <laughs> that's another one of those little loops. So you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. Uh, just a tiny little elastic loop. Uh, let's see if I can get this one without the tweezers and without looking. This is going to be a struggle. <laughs> Okay, if you put your finger inside the loop, then you can get the loop over the button. Woo! <laughs> Ooh! I really like the little cape with it. That is really cute. I wonder how that would look over a waistcoat. Hmm. I'm gonna have to style that for you, uh, for you guys one day. But yeah, I mean, if you're looking for a white ruffled blouse, um, <laughs> like I said, that used to be something that I would wear a lot when I was doing the more Victorian-esque kind of thing. But let me know down in the comments below what you think of this one. And let's go to our last one. And here we have the final piece, which is this black blouse with these bronze buttons. So I guess this could be more of a steampunk look. And I did forget to tell you the skirt that I've tried both of these blouses on is also a Scarlet Darkness skirt, but it's one that I actually purchased some time ago. Uh, you might have uh, remember it from one of my other hauls way back when. Um, but yeah, the reason why I didn't recognize this shirt when I took it out of the packaging from their stuff, because like I said, I'm constantly looking at their stuff online, <laughs> is it has this little brooch. And in the pictures, the brooch is on it, connecting the top here, sort of forming a keyhole. And let's see if I can even make that work. I'm 
gonna have to look at the picture because that doesn't quite sit the way that I remember it from the photo. It seems just a little bit too tight. Maybe it went down lower or something. But it is interesting, it has this little loop here, so you could also turn it into a necklace if you wanted, um, as well as use it as a brooch. Or, if I really wanted to, if I was wearing it like this, I could dangle something from it, because, you know, I got all them charms. <laughs> but this is the black blouse. And the French cuffs, I don't know if you're supposed to wear them, like, loose like this, which I actually like. I like it like that. But I don't know if you're supposed to flip them back. Like that. I don't know, which, which, which way do you guys like better? Like loose like that? I like that just because I think it's, I just like having my hands covered, it's just a thing. <laughs> or do you prefer it like that? All right, so take this brooch off because like I said, I feel like I'm doing something wrong. It doesn't quite look right. It looks better like that. <laughs> but it is still a really cute brooch. Hey guys, so it's the next day and I actually went online onto Amazon and found this shirt because I knew I was doing something wrong when I put the brooch on it yesterday and I wanted to, to figure out how I'm really supposed to put it on. So I did go on, find the shirt and figure out what I was doing wrong. I tried to close it like this, but what you're supposed to do is pop the collar up and hook the two ends of the collar together. Let's see if I can do this. <laughs> without killing myself. <laughs> so close to my throat. <laughs> there we go. But yeah, it's supposed to be like that. So then you get that perfect keyhole. I was so curious. I was like, why doesn't it look like it does? On, <laughs> like, Cause I know I'd seen it before on Amazon. I'm like, why doesn't it look like I remember it looking? But it's because I was putting it on wrong. And also they did show the cuffs folded backwards. like that. But again, you know, I think that's, that can just be a style choice. I, like I said, I do prefer it down over my hand. So I'll probably just leave mine down over my hands like that. That's, that's just the way I, I think I would prefer it. So yeah, so that's the way this blouse is supposed to work. <laughs> I just wanted to, to let you guys know. So let me know down in the comments below what, what you thought of this PR haul from Scarlet Darkness. I am once again just so grateful to them for thinking of me and finding value in my videos and sending me more pieces that I could share with all of you guys. And of course, everything, I'm going to put links for everything down in the description box below if you were interested in any of these pieces and just want, or just wanted to go check them out. Like I said, I think most of the pieces were over the $25, but I feel like that red dress because that's the one that's been in my wish list forever. I feel like that one was under $25. But you can click on the links below to find out. And oh, and I forgot to tell you that that white shirt with the really difficult to undo buttons with those tiny little elastic loops, I was able to just pull it off over my head without undoing any of the buttons. So that was a relief. <laughs> Although I'm afraid one day if I'm constantly pulling it on and over, off over my head, I might snap one of the little elastic pieces, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. <laughs> and I didn't even tell you, this button, <laughs> this button, this shirt, the buttons are actually snaps. So that, that makes things easier <laughs> for this one at least. All right. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy this video, you can give me a thumbs down, but please leave me some constructive criticism in the comments below so that I can improve. And please subscribe to the channel. And I hope everyone is just staying happy, healthy, and safe in this incredibly crazy world we are living in. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye-bye!